Hello, and welcome back to QEZ with me, your practical dietitian. I had such a great time in Greece, and today I'm so excited to go to another country I've always dreamed of visiting. It's a place where you can find mountains for skiing, fine sand beaches, plenty of tapas, and the world's oldest restaurant. Did you guess the country yet? It's Spain. Tapas are appetizer sized dishes popular in Spain. And the old restaurant I mentioned, it's called Sobrino de Botin. It's almost 400 years old. The food must be really good there. To find a quick, easy, and delicious recipe from Spain, I messaged my friend Julia in Spain. Technology is awesome. So without further ado, I bring you tortilla de patatas, or Spanish omelet if you prefer. The thing I like about this tortilla is that it's another great way to make half your plate vegetables. Making the tortilla is as easy as one, two, three. One onion, two potatoes, and three eggs. Plus you need some oil, and by the way, did you know that Spain is the world's largest producer of olive oil? Prep your ingredients by chopping the onions and slicing the potatoes. First, cut them into quarters, then slice evenly so all the pieces are roughly the same size. This is so it cooks evenly. Now you're ready to go. The instructions are pretty straightforward. Just saute the vegetables until soft, Scramble the eggs in a big bowl. Stir the potatoes and onions into the eggs. Pour the whole thing back into the pan and cook both sides. But let's see what happens. All was going fine as I got started cooking the onions, then mixed in the potatoes with a little salt and scrambled the eggs. Now I stirred the creamy potatoes and onions into the scrambled egg and poured it back into the pan. The key is to keep the eggs moving so they don't stick, but I think I haven't got the hang of it yet. Here's where it started to go horribly wrong. The idea is you put a plate over the pan and flip it upside down onto the plate. As you can see, it got a little stuck, but no worries, I was still able to slide it back into the pan to cook the other side. My kids would call this a Pinterest fail but I cut off a corner and decorated it with a little cilantro, and let me tell you, it was delicious. I don't care how it looks. The lesson here is you don't have to be a master chef to make good food. Don't let perfection get in the way of yum. I already mentioned the olive oil we get from Spain. We also have the Spanish and their trade with North Africa to thank for oranges, potatoes, avocados, and chocolate. I'm not sure which of these things I like best. Gracias, España. That's all for today. Thanks for coming with me on my virtual holiday. Where should I head next? Let me know what you think. <laughs>